Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to level 17D. Let's have a quick look at our rules overview and we can see that this is the second last rule in the yellow level of tafkhim and it is called full mouth letters. Now let's read the rule. The rule is that the seven letters of khussa dagatin qid and that is ha, sad, dad, ghain, fa, qaf and dha. So again this is a phrase which is made up of these seven letters will always be read full mouth. Right, so wherever these seven letters appear, regardless of whether they have Dhamma, Fatha, Kasra, Sukun or anything else, they will always be read full mouth. So it is slightly different to the three levels before where you will decide whether to read it full mouth or empty mouth based on the haraka before it or on it and so on and so forth. These seven letters, they will always be read full mouth. Now, an extra tip which I want to offer you is to make sure to say all the time clearly and strongly. They are all full mouth letters. Why? Because if you don't say it clearly, there's a strong chance that like many other students, somewhere down the line in a few weeks time or in a few months time, you will forget what the seven letters are and you will accidentally think that it's khussa with a seen and it's dagatin with a dal and that it's qidh with a dal at the end which is very very wrong so if you say khussa dagatin qidh nice and strong and with emphasis you are less likely to forget also very often every once in a while maybe at least once every day remind yourself and say the seven letters so it's not sufficient just to remember or even to learn you must also be able to on your fingers count the seven letters until the end okay for example say so this sad is going to be full mouth regardless of what haraka it has on it Likewise, in this second example, the ha and the qaf, they are both full mouth. Ha la qa, ha la qa. So you make them as full as you can, not khalaqa, ha la qa, not sayasla, sayasla. Right, so what is the wording we're going to use to spot? Qaf from khussa dagatin qidh, full mouth, or whichever letter it is. So let's see that in practice. You will see that this rule is very, very frequent. Let's take, um, I'm just going to read the first three examples. You don't need to repeat after me just to help you get used to it. Wad from khussa dagatin qidh, full mouth. Wadduha sad from khussa dagatin qidh, full mouth. Wassayf. Ghain from khussa dagatin qidh, full mouth. Ra with fatha, full mouth. Bil maghfirah. Okay, well done. So as usual, let's take some examples. I will give you a bit of time. You can pause it to look for all of the rules that are in that example. And then I will say the, the rules. I will spot the rules. And I would like you to make sure to repeat those rules after me verbally so you can hear it yourself. And then we'll practice the Arabic recitation. Okay, let's take this number 10. Off you go. Okay, hopefully you've spotted three rules in there. If not, pause it and look again. Okay, so which rules do we have? We have Ra Sakina after Fatha, full mouth. Wad from Khussa Dagatin Qidh, full mouth. And then Lam of Allah after Kasra, empty mouth. Marwatillah. Okay, well done. Let's move on. Let's move on to number 16 here and see if you can spot the rules. 
Okay, well done. Hopefully you spotted two rules in there. If not, pause and look carefully. Okay, what are the two rules? They are both inside this same letter. So we will say Qaf from Khusa Bagatin Qid full mouth. And then because we're stopping on the Qaf, we will also say Qaf from Qutubu Jad Qalqala. Okay, let's read that. Well done. Let's go on to number 21 here. Go ahead and spot the rules. Well done. I hope you spotted two. Let's do them. Repeat after me. Noon Mushadda Gunna. Saad from Khusa Dagatin Qid full mouth. In Yawm al Fasl. Okay, take a moment and check whether you remember the seven letters. So pause and check that you remember the seven letters. Good, I hope you counted them. Ha, Saad, Wad until the end. And the phrase also If you repeat it every time when you're practicing this page By the end of 36 examples Just in this page And we're not even counting the rest of the pages Inshallah you would have learnt that phrase very well And if you continue to say it loudly for every one of the examples Inshallah you will never forget that phrase again Okay let's move on to the next page As you can see many more examples here and finally let's go on to the last page and let's practice an example or two from here let's go with number 13 see if you can spot the rules i hope you spotted two rules if not pause okay they are and repeat after me lamb of allah after dhamma full mouth Qaf from Khusa Bagatin Qid full mouth. Wa yushhidu Allah ala ma fi qalbih. Well done. And let's take one final example, number 18 here. Off you go. Spot the rules. Okay, well done. I hope you spotted five rules in there. And they are, repeat after me. Qaf from Khusa Dagatin Qid full mouth. Dal from Qutubu Jad Qalqala. Number three. Ra'sad from Khusa Dagatin Qid full mouth. Number four, Ra with Fatha, full mouth. And number five, Ra with Dhamma, full mouth. Let's go. وَلَقَدْ صَرَّفْنَاهُ بَيْنَهُمْ لِيَذَّكَّرُوا 